Hello, it's Richard of Richard's Guitars. I did a video um, a minute ago about this guitar here. And uh, it's, it's an Eastman AC822CE. And as I look around me, there are guitars in this room, all of which are quite remarkable, whether I'm looking at the first GN4 that I'm doing a little feature on for a customer shortly, um, whether I'm looking at this limited edition first, oh my goodness me, um, 2019 first, look at that wavelength, it's like a sound wave that runs up the guitar, Whee! look at that, look at the woods, oh my god, okay, all that kind of stuff, anything like this, anything like that, and then the Auden guitars, handmade, I look around me, the Eastman E10 SSB there, made to look like an old guitar. Oh, anyway, you've seen them all. You've seen them. I'm just surrounded. Gordon Smith, if I go through it, if I go through it, because there, there, there's a point to this. Gordon Smith guitars, handmade in the UK. Exquisite quality, literally, boutique, whatever you want to call it, custom shop. Oh God, I'm going to have to show you something. I mean, as if you don't know already, But you know, let's, let's take this one for example. I mean, that's just one example. Solid Koa top. Look at that beautiful pinstripe binding. Or what do you want to call it? Pinstripe bind? Is that what it is? No, it's not bind, it's just like a pinstripe. Um, it's just endless, endless stream of beautiful handmade guitars. I deal with Gordon Smith, handmade British built guitars, utterly exquisite, and if you pay over £1,500 for nearly all of their stuff, it's very rare. 90% of what they sell under 1500 quid. I sell handmade Auden guitars, all solid woods, 799 with the most incredible pickup system. I've had 30 two people, <laughs> um, I've had 32 people, um, so I have a sort of, as I did that, they thought I was waving to them, sort of walking past, somebody walks past every day. Anyway, I can't cut this, because I'm in the middle. Um, so, um, 32 customer orders for Sheeran guitars. Now, regardless of what you think of them, it's laminated back and sides with a solid top, okay? But I've got all this stuff here that is utterly jaw-dropping, handmade guitars, um, the Auden's 799, as I say, all solid woods, the most incredible pickup system, 799. You've got the first guitars, 899, for a, a guitar I've been recommending for decades, like 15 years, all solid woods, 899, made in the Czech Republic. I deal with Dovina guitar, I haven't even had one to sell yet, but I couldn't be more excited because, again, tiny little workshop with maybe 10 people in total working there. And uh, this guy who's absolutely fascinated with what he builds and why and the woods that he chooses. And he, he, you know, somebody who lives for the product. That's Dovina Guitars. What else have I mentioned? Anyway, the, so the topic of my video is something along the lines of, why don't you find special guitars or why don't you, why, is it less likely to find special guitars in big shops? And the reason is, shops, big high street, mail order, whatever you want to call them, people who are like a kind of very strong profile, you see them in the magazines, got lots of shops, um, strong online presence, very often, you know, very snazzy uh, kind of, you know, YouTube channels and whatever else. The reality is they have big shops, big business. You simply can't buy these guitars in quantity. They simply are not available. I spend most of my time dealing with back order lists of production schedules of guitars that are being made for my customers, whether it be Gordon Smith, whether it be Auden, um, Eastman guitars to some degree, um, they're just generally back orders, um, even though they're not made specially quite often, they are, are just back ordered. It's a real tricky, situation when, not situation, but let's say for example you've got an Auden guitar in a big, big shop and you've got East, you've got Taylor guitars there, you've got Martin guitars, you've got Takamini guitars. How the hell do you sell an Auden guitar when 
all the customers who come into your shop have only read about Taylor, Takamini, Martin, because all the magazines have been perpetuating this myth that they are the benchmark guitars. If you don't have the staff that understand the product, and even if you had the staff that knew about the product to sell it, you wouldn't be able to sell it in the numbers that you needed to, to warrant it being on, in your shop. Because as soon as you put, let's say, an Auden Neo Chester on the wall at 799, that is gonna knock the socks off anything that you are doing, uh, uh, you know, I'd like to think Martins, Taylors, Takaminas, you know, all that kind of fodder, Yamaha, all these mainstream high volume products, you won't be able to sell those against that one guitar on the wall. But then the one guitar on the wall, you can't get hold of it in the numbers that you need. So it undermines the branding that you have in your shop. So this is why there's this kind of, um, it, I find it fascinating because there's brands, for example, that, um, there's brands of guitars. I'm going to tell you the truth. There's brands of guitars that I want to sell. They're amazing. I mean, two or three brands I could tell you now, and I can't. I can't because it's advertising for somebody else. But there are people like me doing what I do who have got a relationship with a manufacturer. And this retailer is doing as much business that, that they need because they're not a mass producer. They are hand making these guitars. They are making them in smaller numbers. And as long as they've got a presence in the UK market and they've got a presence in the French, Europe, wherever, Germany, Belgium, Europe, They've got a presence in America, presence somewhere else. That's a colossal amount of business for a small builder who pr produces something with pride and real quality. So um, big shops just don't come into it. Big big shops just are kind of seen as sort of monsters, really. They're like kind of, you know, can do what they're doing very professionally, very professionally, um, very clean, very organized, very, you know, stock control systems sales teams fantastic returns procedures you know they there are some shops that nail all of this but by their very nature they can't be what i am and what other stores are around the uk and i would love to somehow connect up i don't know it'd be amazing if we could just connect up with other shops that do a similar thing to what i do if you're out there by the way if you're if you're running another shop that you think is similar minded to myself and you know, somehow we can collaborate and join all these wonderful individual specialist products up together. I don't know, it's just interesting. Um, I'm kind of waffling, but yeah, so that's my answer. Um, I mean, a, a quick one. I mean, Eastman is just one of the most blessed products. You know, I'm just blessed to have it around. Um, and probably the most diverse these days with acoustics, the jazz guitars, the solid body guitars, uh, and uh, quite incredible. I was chatting to Eastman the other day and, you know, these guys, they can't, it's, it's difficult for them to keep the stock flowing on what demand there already is. So if, a, if a, you know, I, I'd be surprised if they had any more shops available that could open up a dealership in the UK. Um, it's not my business, so I don't know whether that'll happen or not, but it wouldn't make sense because it would just mean people like me can't get my stock. You know, so instead of me, who loves the product, getting my stock, it might be, filtered to two or three other dealers who don't need to make any effort because there's a natural demand there. And um, I, I just get more and more frustrated because there's no stock. I mean, that's, they, they can only make so much. So just please trust me, the stuff that you see in my videos are really special things. I suppose that's what, maybe that's what I'm trying to say is that I'm just, I feel it's a special environment and I feel proud to be doing what I'm doing. And um, when people say, why don't I see this in the other shops? That's the reason, because it, it's just not commercially viable for those shops to stock the kind of products that I sell. Um, hope that makes some sense. Hope you're well, and thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. And um, I, I see people all the time coming into the shop and they mention the videos. It's really lovely. So um, I just feel that, you know, these videos are of value to some people out there. So as long as they are, I, I, I'm, I'm I'll keep keep talking to you. So um thanks very much. See you soon. Okay, bye.